Hello and welcome back. Here we are for round three. This Legacy Daily, uh, currently one and one. Let's see, we... Hmm. That is a very, very interesting hand. I kind of want to keep it because of this. I mean, being able to ramp into it is nice. God, I should... <laughs> I haven't mulliganed anything and it's looking pretty bad with me not doing that. Um... Hold on one second, I need a drink of orange juice. Mmm. Oh, I should have back to sixth. Every time I have a drink of orange juice, all I can think of is Tasmania. Why do these look like they're off in color? Uh, Mother Runes. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and uh, see what happens here. Let's grab... Well, we can get all our basics and move on from there. We'll start off with this one. The fun part is that you can actually cast your your mana dork. Um, we have an interesting time ahead of us seeing as we're probably playing against Maverick and he started off with a Mother of Runes. Without the JIT, it's one thing that we can't actually deal with in that sense. Uh, but I guess we're kind of going to be stuck in that in that boat having to deal with it. Uh, if I were him, I would not. Okay. I didn't think he would. Just uh, putting that out there. So let's see what you've got in hand, good sir. That's not all that bad. Uh, I'm going to take this. I'll go down by twos and whatnots, but not just yet. So we'll take two this turn and go from there. Here's our basic forest. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta exile a card from the graveyard. Take a blue. Make him feel weird for a moment. Alright. So we at least have card selection coming up. Uh, we're gonna have to find a way to deal with this. This is gonna be really problematic. Um... Yeah, trying to think of a way that we're going to run through that. Hmm, 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 hmm. What did we see? What did we leave him with in hand? Uh, activates Death Rite Shaman. Tegan Ranger is what we left him with in hand. Interesting that he would play that. So we have an answer to Teague. Yeah, you should be coming across. I don't think I would have used a mom. There we go. One damage here, one damage there. What's the difference? Alright, good news. We're getting a knight, by the way. Uh, the second one's going to be useless... And I don't really feel like using up all of the tools. Might as well go ahead and go get Savannah and let's... Oh, yeah, we got to... We got to... I got to remember to do this. One of the things that I don't really do that well is remember to do that. The reason we're getting Knight is because Knight will be able to get us Maze of Ith. We'll also be able to get us Caracas. And should be able to get us basically a way to deal with what he's got on his side. Um, that is until he finds uh, what's it, what you call it? Uh, ba 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 ba. Um um um. Wastelands. There we go. That's the name of the card. So interestingly enough, he didn't. Uh, okay, so he just wanted to fetch for that. Okay, I'll bite. I was gonna say he didn't. Uh, Bounce a land, untap this guy, replay Teague. Which would have been an interesting way to do things. But right now there are three activations of Mother of Runes. We're at a high enough life total that we can afford a little bit of this. But we're not going to be able to take too much more punishment. Uh, we have got to find an answer. And without... Oh, that's annoying. Without a, uh, a real way to do that, it kind of presents a problem. So... There's a Pride Mage, Deathrite Shaman. Uh, hmm. I think right now, 
I want this shaman. Do I want that shaman? Let's see. I'm going to play Pride Mage. I can take four, five, six. Uh, I don't have to take six. I can cut that down to zero. No, I don't want that shaman. But I do want that green sun zenith. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop this down. I still haven't got my basic planes, I'm aware. And... Let's see, attacking does nothing. I want that green sun zenith, although I think I should have kept it if I wanted it for realsies. Yeah, should have kept it. That's alright, we'll deal with it as it comes. Let's see, we can take this two. There's no point in taking that two, is there? Uh, yeah, we'll take the two. I'll go ahead and fetch Bayou. Bayou activate, eat the pride mage. Activate knight on the Bayou, get Caracas. Pop that up into his hand. It'll be one less creature that I have to actually think about. Um... This combination is going to get annoying. So, that is something to, to know. But at least the Maze of Ith will be able to deal with this stupid Exalted ability. So let's go do this. And... Cancel that. Eat that pride mage. Now we can go ahead and get this. And that'll leave us with black, green, double white. And we have another black source in hand. Uh, we wanted Caracas. Who will in turn continue this chain of end of turn effects. That one. All right, and the bad thing is, like, there's so many protection elements out there. Uh, second night, not the worst. Much better than a second one of those. So that'll do. That'll do. One, two, and three. Oh, forgot about the white. Undo. And all right, so. We need to be able to deal with this before we can deal with this. We need to be able to deal with these before we can deal with this. That means we have to burn through three Mother of Ruins activations in order to actually get this show on the road. But, we do get to fetch. And we do get to turn this into a Maze of Ith to stop that. So we're getting ready to create a position on our side that's a little more difficult to get through as well. And then we can start burning him with Shaman. Uh, currently we only have one burn. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. Uh, if we do get Liliana, I am going to separate his piles out and try and take care of his side of the field. Probably sacrificing in a funny, non-specific order. I could see him doing that. So let's go ahead and fetch. Uh, we're going to go get Bayou. And that's going to give us this. And then we'll turn this into Maze of Ith. And we'll maze this guy. Could have done all that in the waiting process, but at least this way, like right now, he can't swing and get us for much damage whereas when we find something pretty much any spell we can play it and act accordingly removal spells I will be holding up uh, I'll be trying to do other tricks and whatnots oh uh, there's a pulse we'll put those back and I'm gonna put the pulse on the top and 
just going to go ahead and draw it. All right. So we have one removal spell. I forgot to raise his lily. Or his, his thingy. So, that's my bad. No one else's fault but my own. So he's still got the Teague in hand, by the way. We're in a very bad position. Him starting off with double mom really sucks first game. Um, trying to think if there's anything that we can do to just force through that. And the answer is really no. I know that off top. I don't need a to think about that. Here's his knight. A jit. A jit I can live with. That's something I can pulse. Pulse will put him at 11, by the way. Yeah, I see you got stuff over there. And no, I can't go fetching out wastelands and whatnots. So that was stupid. There's no good reason to put that on there. I can just Caracas that back up. Anything else would have been a better choice. Yep. Uh, if he's going to burn through stuff on his end, this is going to get really pretty for me, but he hasn't really done anything that he can't undo. So, yeah. I'm just going to maze this thing. And at end of turn, I'll put it back up in his hand. Alright, there's end of turn. Oh, we just put that back up. Alright, such large knights. Uh, there is a Liliana. Let's see, what do we get, what do we get? I'm going to keep Lily. And we'll pop that to the top. I'm just going to try and figure out how I do that, but I'm not completely inept. Uh, yeah. Maze should be able... Maze and Caracas should be able to deal with everything. I mean, he could always swing with Mom protected. So I think... I can try and do that. I think it's just better off to just go ahead and start forcing discard, and in a couple turns we'll deal with it that way. Um, I cannot get a black source from a knight, an untapped black source, so that's just going to have to wait. Uh, this turn I will eat a little bit and deal with accordingly. What I need is a non-green creature. So. I could have gone to blow this up, but there's not much that I really have to deal with in this situation. Uh, Sylvan Library, that is not going to be online for long. I'm, I'm just going to decay that. I don't need him in that boat yet. Go for it. I'm just going to make you discard it next turn anyway. If I can get him to sacrifice his permanence, I can put the moms on one side, put the other stuff on the other, and deal with things accordingly. Uh, he can bounce a, a permanent in order to kind of do what he's thinking of. Like, he can bounce a forest and get rid of a forest, but that means that I LD him a little bit more every time. And I think I'm going to keep the... Oh yeah, that's right, I have the decay up there. Uh, let's go ahead and keep this. We'll draw it. And we'll go from there. So, put you two back. Uh, and that... Oh, that was a mistake. Little over overconfident there. A little carried away. Um, and I forgot to gain... Whatchamacallit? A, some life for that thing. So... Yeah, that hurt. Um, oh... Not following procedure. I 
I'm not going to play Bob. Uh, we'll be able to burn him at the end of this turn. I need to separate out the moms, the Scrib Ranger. Uh, the Scrib Ranger from the forests. So we'll stick the planes. A mom. And the Scrib Ranger on one side so far. Uh, the other stuff we'll deal with accordingly. At least I have a shaman and can gain a little bit of life. This is going to break down to a very interesting situation. Oh, God, really? Well, uh, let's gain some life. That's going to be annoying as all well. get out. We have one more turn before we can start doing stuff. Hmm. Trying to think of how this is going to work. That guy gets protection. Okay. I can deal with that guy. It's very simple. Send in two in. Okay, so I don't think he's figured this entirely out yet. So what we're going to do is maze this guy. And we're going to lose a land here. We're going to lose two lands. Let's go ahead and pop that. Uh, and we can then go get a wasteland. And that gets Lilian at a six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, there's one creature to make that three. Yep. Oh, he let it go. He let it go. What a fool. Uh, cancel. We're drawing a card. There's an abrupt decay. Okay. So... I have to remember not to click. We're in a weird position here. Yep. He's doing this beforehand. This is the end of your turn, buddy. I guess he's going to bring back up and replay a land still. Got to find a wasteland first, man. All right. So there's a swords. Sure. Let's see. That's three activations of mom. I'm going to put this one back. Provided that I can put it back. Okay, there we go. We're going to skip that portion. Uh, there's still the basic planes in the deck. I think at this point, target player sacrifices a creature. Alright. And let's see, we're at four life. So he can block two things. That'll be good. Yep. So Scrib Ranger and Mom. And I have different colored removal spells, so no worries here.
Come on. What do you got? You untapped. You have two moms. Two mom activations. I have two removal spells. One for each mom. Okay. Alright, what else do you got? What else do you got? Alright. So that one's pro green. So we're going to decay this one. Because if he calls pro green, we're screwed. Now comes the funnest part of this. We have a choice. We can hit one or the other. I think it's actually worth it to hit the ranger. He'll keep the protection. No, it's worth it to hit the mom. Stop being an idiot. Okay. No, it's worth it to hit the ranger. He can keep the protection, but he only gets one. He drops a creature next turn. We still have solutions to problems. Uh, the question becomes, do I exile a creature in his yard right now? And I think that answer is yes. I think I want the extra life. Does it save me any bit from that thing? No. So if he draws a wasteland, I die. If he doesn't draw a wasteland and draws another land, I'm okay. If he draws a creature, we're still in the, we're still in the kind of boondocks area. So, yeah. I think we just leave it. I don't think we can. Let's see. So if he equips Jit, I have Maze. If he has Wasteland, I can't stop it anyway. He just wins the game. So And he doesn't even need to equip. He just equips and eats one thing and then hits me for lethal with or without this. Uh, so I guess it's just... It's pointless... Is it pointless? We'll let it go. I don't know if that was the right choice. I honestly don't, but it's the choice that I made and it's the one that I'm going to stick with for now. Sacrifice a land. I can deal with... Oh, crap, that's game. Let's see if he knows what he's doing with it. Wouldn't have mattered. Uh, if he lets me get the blockers, I'm definitely going to throw this in front and eat that. He let it get back to me. Uh, sure. Let's let him use this. Yeah, go for it. That was game over, but unfortunately he didn't realize, so yeah. I guess he doesn't realize that this targets. Yep, so he's gained a little bit more life. Green Sun Zenith, what can you get me? I know you're the card that I want. We'll put those two back. And let's just let's make this a little more interesting and plausible. All right, so that's gone. Deal. Uh 1 2 3 4 Five, I can fetch and make six. Okay, I can do that. Uh, exile your land. 
make a green. We're going to turn that. Uh, you can turn into this windswept heath. You can turn into a plains. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get some way to win this game. We can now fly over his head. One thing I do miss from the uh, Stoneforge build is the ability to deal with this type of situation. Having both Stoneforge Mystic as well as other things to kind of deal with it. So he needs... He needs something now. Knights are 15s. There's his knight. So that's a wasteland right there. That is an up in the air, active wasteland. And we need to force a bad trade on his end. So... I will take the pulse. And I can't do that anymore, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and let's see. This is lethal by both knights. Both knights will claim one victim is in the form of whatever I pulse afterwards. Yep. So we've somehow pulled this out. Don't know exactly how. Super overly complicated game one. Mom's going to be pro green. And then we'll kill the knight. Who otherwise would be lethal. Uh, not necessarily. He'd have to draw the Wasteland. So, yeah. Mom has protection from green. We'll kill the knight. One, two, three. Uh, we'll discard with Liliana so that next turn we can force a sacrifice from Mom. And let's go ahead and F6. I guess F6 didn't work. Oh, so Caracas's go away. We win. Yep. I'm going to take the Shranger Root Geist, which I now realize that I can't play correctly. And we're just going to make him sacrifice and get across the board. Alright. So we've got lethal on. <laughs> Still lethal. Okay. Uh, we'll put these two back in that order. Let's go to attacks. I just skipped attacks. <sighs> Alright. Me trying to rush looking at the clock isn't working. Uh, luckily he didn't draw anything of importance. Decay. Those two cards can go back. That order's fine. Just decay that guy. I'm going to F6 since the only thing that it will give me now is a chance to attack. And we're going to win this game. Alright. Complicated set of turns. Let's... 
Let's win this next one quickly. This is the basics. This is the basis of this. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this and go for it. I don't really have much time to think. Gaddock Teague, not really important. Timely reinforcements, alternate colored card. Is there anything else that I want to get rid of? Not really. Timelys at least give us little white tokens as opposed to little green men. So Bob's heard a little bit more. So be it. Yeah. I don't actually have two of the same. I'm not really willing to go spend the like one one hundredth of a ticket either. All right. Here we are, game two. Uh, this hand is not terrible, but not a keeper. This hand is a keeper, uh, just simply because we have a swords to deal with a first turn mom. I'm going to go get Savannah to get the swords if he does it. Let's go ahead and F6 this turn. Alright, there's the first turn mom. Let's deal with her. All right. And that should be it for our turn. We are on his turn. I'm just going to F6 again. I don't have any other plays until later. Uh, he's going to call human. I really have to go to the bathroom. Scavenging ooze. All right. Ooze was not what I was looking forward to seeing. Uh, I am going to get in there this way. I could go... Yeah, I think we just do it this way. I'm just going to apply damage. Not the best card in this situation, but it's better than a Goyf. It's at least been a shock. An expensive shock, but a shock. No burn deck in their right mind would play this shock. Ghost Quarter, go for it, my friend. There's the Knight of the Reliquary. That sucker's going to start getting big already. But he doesn't have a mom. That's not exactly what I was hoping to draw. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this, plop this down. And next turn, what can we do? Not much. I don't have anything on his turn. Hmm. We could go get a knight of our own. We're a turn and a half away from Sigarda. Uh, if he wastes... Well, two turns. Uh, if he wastelands us, then he's out of green sources for the ooze. I think a knight may be our best option. We do have the bog. And we can block and then fetch. Granted, he may be able to eat. Oh, that's not good. Not thrilled about that one. Yep. I'm going to let this 3 damage through. Why did I let that 3 damage through? I could have made that a 3-2 free of charge. Uh, Abrupt Decay will work, though. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to pop this down and... Go get my knight. Okay. My knights are also 3-3s. Three and F6. I will be attacking this one. He's only got the one green source. This is only good for creatures. So if he burns my knight... We're in, could be in a little bit of trouble, but he can sacrifice this to make his knight bigger. 
So keep that in mind. Uh, if he aims at one of my lands, he's an idiot, but I don't think he's that dumb. So, yeah, take that as you will. Uh, what are we hoping to draw? We're hoping to draw Liliana. With Liliana, I can cast Liliana and Decay. I'm not that dumb. Elspeth. Green Sun for Night. Okay. Not Elspeth yet. Uh... How dumb are you? Not that dumb. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop this for a card. Wasteland, okay. I can deal with that. Let's see, what else can we do? We can, my knight's a 4-4. Four, four. I still have its fetch. Attacking in makes it bad for him. Let's see, he can gain it, grow it 2, so it would be a 4-4. Four, four. I have 5-5, five, five, so he has to activate his knight. So we're going to block with our knight. We're going to decay his knight and go from there after he's done doing some tricks. He's attacking with both. Okay, I think we eat his knights. So let's see what all we can do. Ghost Quarter goes and gets that. Yep. So his knights are five fives. I assume he's going to eat two lands out of our yard. Uh, we'll get the bayou. And... He gave it back to me. Black, green, decay. That makes a 6-6. Six, six. Alright. That works for me. If he goes to eat... Okay, so he can only eat one. I think we're going to pull this one out. I don't know how, but I think we are. I'm not F6-ing. Make sure I'm F3'd. Uh, he's got about a minute and a half on us, so we've caught up about a minute and a half. I'm playing slow. I'm also talking through. Uh, if he goes to eat something, we waste that. That'll still keep our knight at 6, so it'll be too high for him to do anything. Um, if he was going to do that, he needed to do it already. So, yeah, we just untap with our knight. Let's double waste him. Yep. What are you going for? Knight of the Reliquary? Okay. And I'm also going to waste there. That'll put him to two green sources, two real land sources. Let's drop this Deathrite Shaman. And I'm going to go ahead and barrage across this way. So he's at an interesting point. He doesn't have very many options. I uh, probably should have three. Just, I don't, oh, I did play a land. I played a wasteland. So now he can eat three lands. There are one, there is one creature in the yard. Okay. Both of my wastelands have been used. Oh, crap. That's problematic. Uh, okay. That's fine.
He has to block the knight. I'm still getting in the other way. He still has to block knight. That's a decay. Uh, what does that decay do for me, though? Let me see. He blocks... Blocks Knight. This could get in. I burn him for two. I can't burn him for two. So, hmm. Let's go ahead and kill Mom. Um, send this, this. If I send this, he's got three green. Uh, we're just going to send as such. This can block if that goes. Otherwise it gains me two life. There are a bunch of creatures in the yard. How high? My knight's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Ooze is swinging in. Ah, uh, this was a mistake. So I have to block. He'll eat my guy. And he has one more eat left. I may have to speed up a little bit here if I'm going to be doing this. Uh... Let me just F6. Yeah. What else do we got? What else do we got? Liliana. Okay. Uh... Cancel. We're going to eat this. So you let that go. Sack a creature. And F6. He's still got a blocker. That's a problem for us. I'm surprised he didn't eat the land in response. We're going for the Maze of Ith. Another land. Okay, at least it's a land. Um, maze will at least let us maze his guy over and over again. Knight looks like it's too small to attack right now, but it'll be a 9. He's got 4 mana sources. One of them we can force to eat something else, so that's 3. Um, yeah, we're in trouble. I'm going to go ahead and block now. And always going to yield to that ooze trigger. Seven, eight. That's an eight, eight. Yep. The bad thing is, like, like he should be eating from my yard is the thing. But I have no creatures. Alright, so there's 9-9. Nine, nine. So he can make it. You know what? I can one-up this. I already used both wastelands. I can't one-up this. So I can make a 10-10 myself. And, yeah, now we trade. Oh, good thing there were no more creatures in the yard. Wait, there were no more creatures in the yard. 
Woo! I think we got this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and timely for value, I guess. And let's get across. F6. F6 on his turn because I left up the wrong mana. A little worried about time here. Uh huh. I'm going to bog him. Uh, in response, I'm going to eat his swords. And let's go to discard cards. Alright, his turn, I'm F6ing now. My turn. Let's do that. And then we can F6. Didn't think that this match would go this long. Yep, Pride Mage. Cool. Cool story, bro. Die. Exile that one. And we're up sixth. We got two more turns. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, and we're up sixth again. Looks like we're going to pull this one out. Not a swords. Not a swords. Not a swords. We got it. Alright. <laughs> but he robbed us of the win. Alright, so we are two and one. Or is that three and one? I don't remember. We'll find out. Yeah, two and one. Pulled that one out. We'll have one more round in about two minutes. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I will see you all again in a little bit.